Da -da -da. It's high speed transition effects right there for y'all. Hey man, y'all want to watch an old guy shave? If so, you're in the right place. Hold on, let me move the earth. There we go. I realized something today. I, was, I, I originally said the last video I did that I was going to do a, uh, a review of Chats with Grandpa, which is one of my favorite, uh, one of my absolute favorite uh, barbershop scents. But it's going to be 90 degrees today. I find that particular um, soap to have a little, little dark, more of a wintertime flair for me. So I decided, I was sitting there thinking, what can I do? And I realized that I have not done a video on this. Now, I did a video back when I was foolishly trying to run my YouTube channel without doing a shaving video. And I picked this up, a little bitty badger brush and the EDT that goes with this, which I will be doing a separate video on. For like $17, and I realized I haven't done a video on it. So, that's what we're going to do today. The participants in today's game are going to be the Parker 78R. I'm still running through all the razor blades I keep at the ready. I haven't tried certain razor blades with this razor yet, so I'm still running through them. But today, we're going to be using the Platinum the Gillette Platinum and one of my all-time favorite brushes man this thing is uh, winning the hearts and minds of people everywhere so I'm going to sit that in there to soak for just a second although you don't need to soak a synthetic brush for very long so the scent on this said it's bergamot and white pear and some woody tones underneath and stuff and I remember some people saying that the uh, the cream is a little harder than normal. And I have to say, this is probably the case. But I'm going to try something here. And I'm going to do this on camera just to make myself look like a dark. You know what? That ain't going to work. So we're going to... That's live entertainment, kids. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to have to scoop some of this out of here. I wanted to show you how with... Most Taylor of Old Bond Street shaving creams that you can actually put it on your face a little bit and then take your wet shaving brush and lather it up. But that is not the case. This stuff has been sitting around for a little while and it's not as soft as Tob's shaving cream normally is. This is a good scent though, although it has faded a little bit. So I think that's probably why it was $17. I got this from Bib and Tucker, um, and you can get, even though you can't get it with the shaving, uh, with the shaving brush anymore, you can still get this and the, uh, cologne for 40 bucks. It's still a good deal. But, uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize that, uh, this stuff was not as pliable as Taylor's normally is. I only have two Taylor products as of right now. I mean, my door has got plenty on it back there, but uh, the other one I have is a hard puck of the uh, sandalwood. And you can't, you, you can no more have a bass guitar collection without having a fender in it than you can have a shaving soap collection without having Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood in it. Man, that's just a, a prerequisite as far as I'm concerned. So how is everybody doing? Look at that man down. Man, this stuff whips up quick. Mm, such a pleasant scent. Such a pleasant scent. I haven't shaved in days. I haven't, haven't felt good. I had to go to the doctor on Saturday and get some ear drops for my stinking ears. Turns out I have an ear infection. Still a little bubbly, what do you think? I think it's still a little bubbly. Let's go some more. I don't think we need any water. But uh, I think that looks pretty good. Yes, sir? 
I think it's time to show. Let's turn that a little more. I think it's time to shave. So the Cowboys are four and one, but we got to play Philadelphia. And I'm a little concerned about that. My number two team, which is Kansas City, played on Monday night and they did their typical come from behind. And there was some bad officiating in that game. Some of it went Kansas' way and some of it didn't. It just seems like the officiating in the NFL is just constantly getting worse, but, but uh, that's a whole other argument. I mean, discussion. <laughs> All right, so let's clear off the neck a little bit. Let's grab our towel that we always leave over there. All right, so Parker... 78R, still love this razor, with a Gillette Platinum Blade. You know, I notice in my videos after I post them, my phone takes up a lot of the mirror, so I can't see my shirt when I'm doing this. Now it looks like I've been rolling around in this crap, so <laughs> they try to be a little more clean. All right, let's see if this thing will mow this stuff down. If you still haven't tried one of these razors, Pick one up. Buy a few of them. Give them away as Christmas gifts. 26 bucks, man. Oh, yeah, that's better. And I will do a review of the, uh, of the cologne. And I really like it. It smells good, but the only problem is the longevity of it is terrible. I mean, this, the, the scent smells fantastic, but it disappears faster than weed on Willie Nelson's bus, man. The stuff is just gone quick. But while it's there, it smells fantastic. I'm sitting at 228 subscribers. I appreciate everybody. I don't know what I was thinking when I was trying to do a shaving channel with no shaving videos. I mean, I was trying to buck the trend and it didn't work. But once I switched formats a little bit, subscribership went up and I appreciate it. Live and learn. I'm going to do a couple of upcoming videos on a couple of Men's grooming accessories I found for the shower that we can talk about. And I also want to talk about. Hang on. I also want to talk about the positive psychological effects of, of doing things like wet shaving and collecting fragrances and uh, the benefits of doing those things, not just so your friends and neighbors don't gag because you haven't had a bath or don't shave and you smell like the south end of a northbound buffalo. But I was reading some articles the other day talking about the positive mental health of grooming. And there are some uh, definite benefits to it. I know that I've shared my testimony on here before, but and I won't get too off into it today, but I know that back when I was drinking and really drinking out of control, um, I didn't really care if I shaved. I didn't care what it looked like. And on days when I feel a certain way, I know that if I have a nice shave, I know that if I have a good shower, get all cleaned up, I always feel better about myself. I always feel better about everything after that. And the people that I live with, they appreciate it too. 
Not to mention my time reading my Bible. I can't stress that enough, but I won't stress that here on this channel because that's not what this channel is about. But if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can check out my other channel called It's Still Called Today, where I do my podcast and I do Bible stuff. Because I think that's a big part of, of uh, my, well, it is the big part of my recovery. You know, I was just thinking today, while I was praying about some stuff, and I realized that I still had the same battle. I still miss my wife that she's gone. Not many of you know that I can't, I can't walk. I have to use a walker to get around these days. And some days it gets to me. So the battles that I have haven't changed. The tools that I fight them with have. Because I feel a lot better after I get done shaving with you guys and sharing the video or just shaving alone and showering and putting on some of my nice stink pretty that I got, I feel better. And I don't ever wake up the next morning asking somebody, do you know what happened to my pants? Or I don't ever get a phone call from somebody going, dude, you know what you did last night? Wow. You're not allowed back over there. <laughs> I laugh, but it ain't funny. It is not funny. Here we go. ATG. Yeah, this stuff smells good. And I noticed they have a hard puck of this, and I bet you the hard puck is better. As my shaving journey progresses, I'm starting to like hard soaps better. Ooh, that tugged right there. I didn't like that. That, that didn't feel good at all. That snagulated on my skin. But I still love this razor. I'm going to try it with a feather. I don't have any feathers in my uh, shaving arsenal. The closest thing I have is the Gillette Silver Blues and then the Sets. And the Wilkinson swords are pretty darn sharp. Because I remember, if y'all remember, one video, I used the Wilkinson sword and I shaved a mole clean off of my face. That bled for 15, 20 minutes, man. With Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills are looking sharp. Felt they are looking awesome. They have certainly picked up where they left off. In case you can't tell, I actually like football. And I don't really care who's playing. And all the politics and stuff aside, I still look forward to watching the football games. I enjoy it. It's a time to not worry about anything. And have you noticed they're not showing a lot of that? Political foo for all in there. I think they finally got to calm down. But you can say whatever you want, I guess. I mean, that's part of being a mark. It's free speech. Free speech means putting up a speech you don't necessarily agree with. That's how it works. As a Christian, not everybody agrees with my views. But as long as you're civil to me and show me respect and disagree, we can be friends. The Bible tells me to love my neighbor. doesn't say agree with him. We need a little cleanup pass here. I have no idea what I'm going to use for aftershave. I didn't think that far ahead because I don't have any that matches this. But look at that. Did y'all see that? Should I eat it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do it. 
this particular blade in this particular razor, this platinum, and I use platinums all the time, isn't performing as well as most of the other platinums that I've run through this particular razor. Maybe I just got a weird one. That happens. You ever just gotten a funky blade? A, a blade for a brand that you've known and used and trust and you just get one that gives you a bad shave. It is no bueno. I do not like it. Taylor Vogue Bond Street is a great soap. If you haven't tried any of their products, and I can't imagine anybody who's watching this channel that hasn't. But if you haven't picked some up, even the ladies that watch my channel, the uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street Coconut, man, I think you'd dig it. And it's a good price. It's under 20 bucks, and you can get it from Slamazon. And even though that trick I did didn't work, a fresh batch of it, you can actually apply on your legs or wherever you're shaving or your face and small doses and take your wet shaving brush and uh, lather up on your legs or your face. Man, I am blessed with a uh, not too hard to shave face. All right, let me give this a check. Let me give it a check, check, check. Can get a little bit right here. Okay, I think that'll do it. So hang on just a minute. Let me see what I want to use for it for aftershave. Since it's gonna be 90 degrees, there's one scent that I love when it's this warm. Have fun staring at the door for a minute. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the counter. Here we go. It's church night for me. It's my recovery group. We meet, we have worship, we have teaching and stuff and so I kind of like to smell good for those people. They really appreciate it. So let me get my face rinsed off one more time. <clears throat> and we're just about done here. Matter of fact, we are so close to being done. I'm going to drain the sink. We're going to do a little sharp dress man. And I may wear that little, uh, my son got me a full on thing of green Irish tweed. It's probably about 10 milliliters. And that's what this, that's what this is supposed to smell like. So if you haven't seen my video for the comparison of sharp dress man and green Irish tweed, I will link that in the description along with the video where I picked up the soap and I'll try to put a link for Bib and Tucker in case you'd like to buy some of this. I do recommend it. It's really good stuff. Ah, oh, man, it smells good. I feel fantastic. Friends, don't hesitate if you're feeling down to, to reach out to somebody. Don't hesitate to to employ these tools to help yourself feel better. Sometimes there's nothing better than a good, a nice shower and a good shave to make you feel great. And 
Look out for yourselves, but don't only look out for yourselves. Look out for everybody else too. Be a blessing to someone today. Be the reason somebody smiles. Have a fantastic day.